Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, you will learn how you can send emails to every new contact of Apollo application automatically. So guys, if you're using Apollo CRM or any other sales engagement tool in your business, you know how important it is to be on the top of the communications with, com with customers and leads. But manually sending emails to customers and leads can be really time consuming and tedious. But fortunately, we have the power of automation now. And here I'm going to show you how you can set up an easy workflow that is going to send emails automatically whenever you are going to add any new contact in Apollo CRM. And guys, you can create this workflow without any coding super simply just by a few clicks. So let me show you how you can set up this automation. To set up this automation guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. From here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automation. So you can just sign up right now from this given link. I have pasted the same link in the description. So you can sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and select the Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here. And from here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up this uh, workflow. Here you can give any suitable name to your workflows as well. So I'm giving the name here as Apollo, Apollo contacts to Gmail emails. Alright, so after giving such names, you have to click on create button and you can see your workflow page will load up like this. And here you will find these two modules guys, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation. So guys, trigger is that event which is going to start our workflow and the action is the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So in our use case guys, Adding a contact in Apollo will act as a trigger to this workflow and sending an email to that contact will act as the action. Okay, so here we have to choose the trigger application first. So Apollo is our trigger application, select that. Then you have to select the trigger event as new contact. All right, then you have to click on connect. And from here, select add new connection option. And here it will ask for the API key of Apollo application. So if you are logged in in, uh, logged in in Apollo, you can just click on this here word written in blue and you will reach this uh, developers page of Apollo application, the Apollo developer portal. From here, you will find this API keys tab. You can click on it and here you can generate a new key by clicking on this create new key button. And I have already generated a key. You can see here it is. And after getting it generated, just copy it like this and paste it here in this field and then click on save and you will be connected with Apollo. So we are now connected here. And guys, here you can see it is showing every eight hours. So this trigger is going to automatically run in every eight hours and going to see if any new contact you have added or not. Okay. So, uh, but, and by clicking on save and send test request button here, you can fetch the details of the most recently created contacts here in this response section of this workflow. Let me show you how it is going to work. I'm going to create a new contact here. Okay, this is Apollo applications dashboard. And here, let me just uh, click here on creating a new contact and let us just give a name to this contact as test contact. So guys, I have added a few basic details of the contact like the name and the email address that we needed to uh, uh, send an email to and here's the company name and all other things. Now I'm going to click on this save contact button. All right. And you can see this contact got saved here named as test contact. Okay. Now let us capture the data of this contact. I, here I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And here's you can see we got this response. And in this response, you can see we have received the address, location of the contact, the organization's name, the name of the contact, test contact, the last name, okay, the first name, and the email address is here. And everything is here, captured here in this response section, right? 
now let us send a email and for sending the email we are going to connect gmail application here in this action step okay and the action event would be send email after that click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with gmail and from this window you have to choose that gmail account by which you want to send this email okay so select that account then you have to provide some additional access to your google account that is completely safe just click on continue from here and you can see we are now getting connected okay so we are now connected and here it is asking to enter the recipient's email address so we have received the data of the customer here contact here and we have received this email label in which we have received the email address so i'm going to map these labels here in these fields uh, to send the emails automatically so you just have to click here on this field and the previous trigger step will appear here in the drop down and from here you have to search for the email label and click on it to map it so this is email lab label i am mapping it okay here in the sender's name you can put the sender's name any name you want i am putting the name of the sender is test sender you can fill your name here in the subject i am going to put welcome on board so we are sending a welcome email to any onboarded customer okay here you can select the email contents type and here you can type the email so let me just type the email here okay so as i have written this kind of email okay you can see i'm the founder of pavli and i would like to personally thank you for signing up to the service okay this is this kind of a welcoming email for a customer and here after dear i want to place the name of the person uh, to whom i'm sending this email so we are going to map the name label from the first step okay from this Apollo step, you can find the full name of the customer as this. You can just map the label here. So guys, when you map the labels here like this, like I have added here or here, what will happen after uh, in real time after setting up this workflow in real time, whenever you want to, uh, whenever you are going to add any new contact in Apollo, these labels here will be updated and new emails will be delivered to new contacts and the name will be placed in the email automatically okay so let me show you a demo of this email here we have save and send test request button by clicking on it you can check your connection with email and a email will be delivered to this contact on this address okay so let me just show you the demo so guys this is the email inbox of my customer let's say and here i am clicking on save and send test request button and let us see how the email is going to look like and this is the response we have received and here we have received a new email from test sender okay and here you can see the subject is welcome on board and you can see the email dear test contact i am the founder of pavli and i'd like to personally thank you for signing up to our service we established this company in order to serve customers like you and this is the same email that i have typed here you can see and you can see the label here got placed automatically here as the name of the uh, customer all right and here you can see the subject and everything is same as we have uh, customized the thing here so here's how you can use this uh, automation guys and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that in real time whenever you are going to add any new contact in apollo application the emails will be delivered automatically and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.